WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. If we can do this. Okay, how do I do this? D fine. Okay. Um, and what do we have here? Well, we're down a little bit, but way off the lows. Uh, volume should have been much better if we were going to break out the lows. We're doing about 7.4 billion shares. Now, that's not nothing, but at the same time, it's not going to be the 18 billion that we really need to go blow, uh, blow out the lows. Um, <clears throat> I have seen a great deal of evidence that suggests the retail trader is not only selling but going short, and that's generally a pretty good indication that we're probably fairly close to some kind of lows. Um, not uncommon to see a little bit of weakness uh, here. We've got uh, what are probably going to be fairly decent um, earnings on the whole after the bell. We've got uh, Starbucks, Amgen, PayPal, uh, EOG, Square, Expedia, uh, Live Nation, uh, uh, MELI, which is uh, the uh, it's kind of a southern kind of uh, south of the border kind of YouTube and Amazon thing. Uh, Monster Energy, Coin, Starworks Solutions. I think they've probably already been tarred and feathered a bit uh, by uh, Apple's uh, downside. Uh, Dash and Illumina, which are always big movers. So we'll see how this comes in. I know everybody's probably fairly nervous, but generally when the uh, retail crowd decides to give up the ghost and go short, you normally get a fairly decent bounce out of it. Now, maybe that's evaporating as we speak, but option market makers are not wildly bullish, uh, but suspect that uh, we're probably going to bounce up uh, maybe another four or five points on the spies before we see some kind of high. As uh, always, uh, hang on for my show following on most of the TFNN stations. But uh, that's it. We'll be uh, back in just a minute. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the 